Now today is uh, November 10th, uh, 2024. I thought uh, what I would do today is to uh, uh, look into uh, tray, uh, puppy Linux tray setup. Uh, obviously in this uh, Focal Pup 32 there is two, two trays, but usually you uh, have a single tray in most of mainline uh, puppy Linux ISOs. This is a, a recent install uh, to a, a hard drive and uh, I've modified uh, uh, minimally uh, mainly to go ahead and uh, uh, be able to screen record. Um, so otherwise it's a pretty uh, uh, fresh install. When you have a um, when you have a, uh, a, a, a Puppy Linux, uh, there are several files uh, on the on a root level here on a rocks. Uh, Control H, for example, bring up a uh, toggles uh, hidden files. There's uh, if you have a particular uh, Puppy Linux, whether well, it's a single tray, you may have a JWMRC dash tray file in the main. Uh, 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 home uh, uh, folder but uh, in this case you have two and more likely uh, many of the recent uh, uh, ISO seems to have it under .jwm folder <coughs> and within it uh, is usually either tray 1 or tray 2 more f commonly seems like tray 2 that is uh, that is the main tray that I prefer to edit and get uh, rid of this tray. So f there is a, before we start, I should uh, point out there is a graphic uh, a program which is very enticing, uh, desktop settings, uh, or it, it would usually say J JWM desktop. Uh, so you can go ahead and look in there and then you can take a look at the tray uh, uh, setting and windows and so on. So for example, if you click on the tray, there is a, uh, uh, there is a uh, setup tray 1. We know right away this is tray 1. And this is actually tray 2. So. Uh, in my own setting, I usually uh, prefer not to have tray 1, one on the top, and bring the one uh, tray 2 uh, up here. But uh, w the major problem with this uh, uh, very enticing graphic uh, interface is that I noticed that if you change something on a tray, for example, it may uh, divert or revert your keyboard setting or menu uh, uh, settings that you have <coughs> spent time modifying, it may revert to default uh, initial setting. <coughs> so I, uh, most of the time, I end up not using this. <coughs> so that's a warning to you that if you are wanting to modify something through this program what you may want to do is save the uh, files first in in this case uh, tray one and two and then personnel file and then theme file and in and also <coughs> a deja dot jwmrc file you need to have it in some safe place so when it does get or if it gets replaced, you can go ahead and uh, go go back to revert back to uh, your own setup. So let's uh, gotten that out of the way. <coughs> Main uh, files again that seems to uh, modify the uh, tray has to do with uh, tray one and two, or personnel file. Now, now, personnel file is generally uh, mainly to do with a uh, 
with a keyboard binding of various uh, applications and so on. But it does have, as you can see, it does have uh, a virtual desktop, for example, desktop uh, uh, with this tray uh, three is a very bad name, I know. Height is one. So it means that there is three uh, desktops. But if you can change that to, we can change that to two. <clears throat> and then go ahead and save it. And then uh, force it to reread the uh, JWM. So we can go ahead and start. <clears throat> Day job. The JWM space restart and ampersand sign and enter. See what happens. That it gives you six, uh, six uh, high, uh, height, height, but it gives you double uh, columns here or rows. So, uh, so it does affect the uh, tray appearance. Theme obviously uh, has to with a tray style here. We'll give you uh, the uh, the font size and and the colors and so on. So it does affect the tray appearance. And then in uh, in this particular uh, I, uh, puppy ISO, it also will affect the uh, clock style here with a uh, JWM RC th a theme file, which is all uh, edited in a Genie in my case, so Genie Editor. So in, uh, in my case, uh, we know we've identified this, this is uh, tray one and this is tray two. So we're not gonna use tray two. So what we'll do is We'll get into the um, JWM and then rename this to, we'll just rename it to dash and uh, uh, rename it. And then let's see what happens if you just uh, start the JWM restart again. is still there. But instead, it uh, the uh, two uh, went away. So I na renamed the wrong, uh, wrong file. So we need to rename. So uh, F2 will uh, rename. We'll go ahead and rename the uh, first and then activate the two. And then now we're going to uh, start the uh, terminal. Now that's what we want. So there's no more uh, uh, one here and there's two. Now next thing we want to do is we want to save this. So there's no uh, tray. So we'll just close it without without saving it. So we're not going to use the uh, tray one. So now what we want to do is bring up the tray two. So we'll go ahead and start the rocks. And then here's the, uh, here's the rocks filer and we're going to uh, work with tray two. So we'll bring that over. So now when you look at tray two uh, more carefully, um, you have a, uh, a ma uh, mainly the uh, vertical alignment is right now is on the bottom. So we'll put that on top. Okay, and then it also gives you a choice of uh, the height of the uh, tray. So 28 uh, seems okay. And then let's just see uh, what happens. We're gonna uh, save that. And then we're gonna go ahead and bring up the uh, uh, LX terminal. 
and then we're gonna uh, restart the uh, uh, JWM restart again and it should be uh, going up so now we getting some handle on how to uh, how to uh, set this up so now when we look at the uh, uh, label so there's a uh, uh, first there's applications there's places and there's uh, uh, so there is a uh, show desktop so what show desktop does it just uh, eliminates all the visible application uh, and it just reverts back to the flat uh, so it hides all the active application so we'll just toggle it and then we'll toggle it again it brings it back up so I uh, don't uh, need that so because I do it with a keyboard super and D in my case does the same so I don't really need to know uh, I don't want to drag it all the way up here to go ahead and activate it when I can uh, just the super and D which is the default setting in this uh, uh, most of the puppy Linux uh, ISOs so just to eliminate 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 it you just uh, you just go ahead and click and then uh, I it's the control L I think it'll uh, no control D uh, control K will uh, uh, delete the uh, align so now we can go ahead and uh, save and then we're gonna go ahead and restart it again and see uh, that uh, this should be there should have disappeared so now you get a pretty good idea of how to do this so okay now the uh, uh, similarly I don't need the uh, places so places uh, gives you a menu of different uh, uh, folders and so on which I don't use I prefer just to go ahead and just uh, use the rocks dif uh, directly So um, places, we'll go ahead and give it a, a control K again. And then uh, save. Now next thing I'll uh, briefly mention is uh, task list maximal width. That has to do with this uh, width of this uh, each window that's open. I found out that for my liking, I um, want to just icon. I don't need all this text. So generally speaking, around 25 seems to work the best. Control S to save it again. And then uh, ALT tab just to go to back to the other windows. Uh, uh, up arrow. JWM restart and then let's see what happens now we only get this small icons which is uh, uh, to my liking now dock uh, has to do with a uh, we'll skip the dock Swallow has to do with this appearance of this particular icon that gives you uh, some uh, idea of CPU use, uh, generally speaking. So that's what it refers to, and you can uh, modify the color with these uh, uh, configurations. So, for example, right now, when you just go ahead and see what color that is, you just go ahead and drag it with your left click mouse and go to color picker. You just open it and it should give you an uh, idea what the, uh, what the color uh, right now is bluish. But I prefer this to be pretty red. Uh, so generally FF0000 is to my liking so we'll go ahead and apply that 
and then close and then uh, when you do that apply and close you get it twice so we want to eliminate just uh, uh, one so I should have just uh, closed without applying so we'll go ahead and control S to save and then uh, go back to the ALT tab go back to JWM and then give it a minute and it should start to change the color uh, to red and the clock format uh, lastly is here and clock format uh, I've done this enough to uh, memorize my uh, preference so a uh, dash a b and, and d is good and then we're gonna put a little comma here and then L M and then we're gonna put in a small P and let's see what that does we'll go ahead and control S and again you notice now it's turned into red gives you an idea of the activity so we're gonna go up again restart and let's see how this changed so this is my preference give you Sunday November 10th and the time now when you look at this uh, you like to have some uh, spaces in between some of these uh, uh, groups of uh, uh, icons and so on so the what you can do is uh, use this here space or width uh, and uh, uh, vary the number up to your liking so we'll just go ahead and copy this and then look in the tray 2 and then um, before the application uh, here we'll go ahead and uh, insert su uh, space or width so we'll uh, 40 uh, seems to be okay for now we'll just make a little neater and uh, similarly we want to put that at the end and uh, that's after the clock but within the tray so we'll go ahead and do that and then uh, put that in there and then we're gonna save it and then uh, go back to the uh, terminal and see what that looks like so now we have uh, some space here so while we're at it uh, I can look at this uh, applications and uh, it uh, it's obvious that it's what it's gonna do is gonna bring up the same menu that as F12 and then you'll also do that same exactly if you just uh, go ahead and uh, click on the uh, puppy uh, hit face so what we can do is just go ahead and eliminate the applications altogether and just go ahead and leave it a code, code and everything else the same and then it will just eliminate this and then right afterward we'll go at the end we'll go ahead and put in a space of width and increase the number So here, con uh, Control C will copy, Control V will uh, uh, increase, and then uh, we'll go. I prefer to have a uh, uh, what's called a pager toward the middle, pager and the dock uh, toward the mi uh, uh, middle. So we'll go ahead and put that, uh, and let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and try 300 and see what that looks like, and then. Uh, So before test list, so these are test list. Uh, I actually want test list before the uh, pager. So we'll go ahead and switch this around. And then enter, delete, and then uh, control K. 
And then after the pager, I want some space, spatial width again, and 300. And let's see what that looks like. And then control S to save everything. And then I do this again. So now uh, I can see that there is a, a significant change. So here, um, here is all the active, and then here is the pager, and uh, there's a little space uh, between the pager. That's fine. And then there's uh, many uh, start uh, startup icons which you can uh, go ahead and modify uh, further. But before we do that, I want to. I want to change the color of this uh, clock. So now that's not, uh, so that's done by a theme of file in this particular ISO. So while we're at it, we can take a look at the uh, uh, pager style, tray style has to do with uh, these trays and then so right now the foreground is <coughs> this color our background I should say it has this uh, gradient which is uh, okay but I prefer not to have the gradient so we'll go ahead and Go across and open the color picker and then let's see what this uh, particular uh, darkness uh, looks like so we'll go ahead and click and then OK so it's changed here and we're gonna uh, close uh, we're gonna say control s and then we're gonna restart and it should change the uh, uh, the tray color So there's gradient has disappeared, so it did change the color. Which some of you pr may prefer, but I prefer not to have the gradient of the active. So we'll just go ahead and click the color picker again, and we'll pick something a little lighter that stands out. Perhaps this, and OK. And then Control S to save, and go back to this and restart and it should change the color. So when we go ahead and click on it, you know that this uh, color has changed. And we're gonna go to the uh, uh, Genie and you can see that clearly uh, that we made signif significant change. Now pager style has to do with uh, these uh, desktop, virtual desktop, so uh, right now active is this uh, number three uh, a virtual desktop so foreground background let's see foreground is this color so let's just go ahead and see what that foreground looks like and then color picker again and this uh, so I prefer that to be uh, red so let's just go ahead and change it to red and OK and Control S and then restart. And then we're going to click. You can see that whatever we click is going to be, uh, it's going to turn red. So that's, uh, and you can change the background separately. So right now it's active. background is 333 three, three, so the background uh, 33 three should be almost dark so let's take a look 333 three, three is almost dark so that's okay so that's how you can change some of the uh, 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 colors here 
Uh, let me uh, outline. I uh, prefer outline to be white rather than black. So, and then we can go ahead and go back again, restart again. And now you can see the clear outline. So, and the, but the reason we're here is because the uh, clock. So the clock size maybe we'll make it a little larger, and then a foreground, background. Let's say foreground. Yeah, let's take a look. It's uh, rather uh, so we'll make it a a white color. So it should be white now background will uh, remain the same and then control s again and then restart okay so now uh, now what to do with these uh, uh, many uh, icons that we m you may not want so that's controlled by a uh, mainly two files, so uh, two uh, two uh, folders, I should say. Here is a startup. We're at the root level startup, and then you can see there's no uh, redshift uh, tray. So we'll, uh, but uh, but apparently that's in. Uh, so we don't need it, and I also don't need the uh, temperature gauge. Cron has to do with the, what's called a P schedule. Read me, I don't need. Uh, you may want to, uh, okay, and everything else is uh, fine. So, tray icon and so on, so that's fine. And we'll just go ahead and delete those. And then we can go back and then uh, dot config. And we want to take a look at the auto start. Dunst has, uh, has to do with the notifying. We don't need the free memory uh, tray, which is uh, tells how much free memory you have, which is this here. And this uh, is uh, uh, not working anyway. Retroball has to do with the uh, volume firewall status I don't need. Uh, parse light, uh, I don't really need the uh, icon here. Readme uh, Zarafi uh, has to with a multiple monitor setup, so we'll just go ahead and delete those, and then uh, just delete them from auto start. Now we're back. Uh, you can notice that there is a significant improvement in uh, number of uh, icons that is running here. Now, occasionally my wife uh, likes to use this computer, so I usually like to put in a little button uh, icon here. And so that's essentially the same as uh, when you say leave a button from the menu. So uh, I'll just go ahead and copy this and then put it in tray toward the end after the clock. And then control B. And then uh, control S. And then uh, restart. Uh, we don't want to JWM restart is what we want. And then now you can see the uh, uh, leave button here. So I I do want a little space in between here and uh, and here. So we'll just go ahead and go back to the tray, and then uh, uh, space or width. Control C. Uh, tray button and uh, clock format. So here we want a little space there, and then in front of the clock, uh, 
and swallow we want to pretty much the little space here and then control s to save and then we go ahead and restart the jwm so now you can see how things are uh, moving uh, again i want these to be toward the middle so uh, what i can do is just make this side so 300 and 300 so let's make this side 200 and it'll bring it over here and then we'll make that 400 so it'll have a more room here and then we can go back restart now we're coming uh, down to uh, the point where we want to change the color of this uh, hard to see puppy uh, icon here. So uh, we can open up the trend number two and uh, right now um, uh, there is a icon uh, is a puppy SVG. Uh, so that's the uh, icon that we want to modify. So we can go ahead and uh, look for the uh, icon uh, so LX terminal and find it's in under USR uh, so name name puppy SVG and it's under uh, USR share uh, uh, pix maps and uh, so here's the uh, uh, what we want to modify so now uh, I found out uh, just now that uh, GIMP is not installed so you have to install GIMP first after that what you want to do is just go ahead and type in GIMP and then uh, this name of this file and just uh, middle click here and then it should open up the GIMP so we're gonna just discard and then uh, we're gonna so it's gonna it's uh, trying to open up the file so here's the file so it's pretty small but uh, here we want to make it uh, red color so foreground will just change that to red color and then we'll just cheat and then uh, just get a uh, HR uh, the color picker and then uh, put it on the red color which is the one we uh, one we fixed before so we'll just go ahead and do that and now we want to get a bucket tool okay so we want to click on a bucket tool and we want to get a foreground color and all you need to do is just click on the black part so now what we need to do is uh, 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 save it so uh, you have to go export uh, uh, as so we want to uh, save it as PNG file so we'll go puppy and then uh, dash red and PNG PNG file and then export export replace I've just uh, uh, done that a couple minutes ago so we're gonna replace it and then and indeed export it so it's done so there is a f we're gonna close this discard and we're gonna close everything and then we'll close uh, so now we change the to puppy red png So we're going to save it and then we're going to restart again and now you see that uh, red uh, uh, icon here and this is not as red so you may need to touch, touch that up again but uh, you get the basic idea.